Hi, my name is Douglas Smith. I'd like to thank you for listening uh, to my uh, message. Uh, this week's message is the message to, uh, it's on the Church of Sardius. Um, this is in uh, Revelations, and it's chapter uh, 3, and I'm going to go down to uh, verse 6. To the angel of uh, the church in Sardius write, this is the message from one who has the seven spirits of God. And the... Uh, Seven stars. I know what you are doing. I know that you have the reputation of being alive. Even though you are dead, so wake up and strengthen what you still have before it dies completely. For I find that what you have done is not yet perfect in the sight of my God. Remember then what you were taught and what you heard. Obey it and turn from your sin. If you do not wake up, I will come upon you like a thief, and you will not even know the time when I will come. But a few of you there in Sadias have kept your clothes clean. You will walk with me, clothed in white, because you are so worthy to do so. Those who are in the victory will be clothed like this in white, and I will not remove their names from the book of the living, in the presence of my Father and of his angels. I will declare openly that they belong to me. If you have ears, and then listen to what the Spirit says. Here, what I believe um, uh, in this is, um, so Deus is a church that is kind of like a lot of our churches. They're lukewarm. You have uh, some of them that are on, on fire for God. Then you have other ones that are... Um, are not so much. Uh, they're just well. I'm gonna go to church just to please, uh, just to please my neighbors and just to uh, just to go, just to go. Um, and I, I really believe that the ones that he's talking about, like says, well, you kept my uh, word. You kept my. They're the ones that are on fire for God. They go there. They go to church not just because they have to go, but because they want God. They want more of God. They want to know but God, and the, and they believe in the healing power. They believe in the uh, preaching power. They believe in the power of God and power of Jesus' name. And so they go and they don't go and forget him and stuff. They know what he did on that cross and they believe in going out and telling others and stuff. See, that's some of the things that in our churches we go, we're just pew sitters. All we do is sit on the pew and, oh, oh well, no big deal. We don't go and actually, uh, go there to worship we don't go and uh go there to listen we don't let our ears hear and that's what we need to do we need to let our ears hear the word but then when you hear the word you need to go and teach the word or at least go and show the word and stuff like that many people go and uh hear the word and say yep yep i know that word and stuff like that but yet it's dead right there in church. It's just dead. They go home. They don't go to their neighbor. Hey, how you doing, neighbor? How you doing and stuff? But you don't go and say, "Hey, neighbor, do you know about uh, do you know about John three sixteen? Uh, do you know? No, they uh they'll be the last. What some people just once they hear God's word, they no longer let it out there. They don't go to Walmart or um, they don't go to a store. And if they see somebody and say, you know what, you look down, can I pray for you and stuff? You know, the people that he's talking about that some of you are in white clothing, they're ones that when they go to the store and they see somebody down, they make an example. They say, you know what, let me pray for you. Let me tell you about my son. Uh, let me tell you about our Lord Jesus Christ and what he can do for you, that he can heal you, he can make... Uh, these are the ones that are on fire for God. These are the ones that use the action and stuff like that. Uh, so the ones that he's saying, you know, um, they're the ones that they go, they listen, stuff like that. They say, yep, uh, um, I'm going there and I, I'm here and stuff. They're dead and stuff like that. And we need to go and make the church alive and alive. Uh, I mean, we need to be more powerful in our, our word and stuff. And we need to go out and teach it in the spirit, in the truth, and the life and stuff like that. We need to forgive. We need to, we just need to uh, just spread the word. Don't hide it. Don't hide it in your heart and stuff like that. Let it out and let your light shine. We are the light. Uh, not just Jesus is the light, but because Jesus lives in us, we are the light. And we need to spread that light like a, like a, a, uh, one of the beacons uh, that's uh, making sure the ships don't uh, on the lighthouse. We need to be that lighthouse. God bless. Have a great night.